Um, I've been around the startup community for a while. I've stepped away to kind of build up the business. I think James is the only one that I've seen. Uh, one of my other three presentations here at One Million Cups was my fourth time presenting. Um, a little bit about Mondo Minded. Uh, when I first presented, real quick, this was kind of a quick startup. Um, started idea and started the company on a Friday. Had it launched, rolling, running on Monday, and for sale on Tuesday. So that was one of my first products, uh, first presentations. What do we do? We're primarily a design company. We happen to manufacture additive manufacturing, aka 3D printing, a lot of our products. Uh, we're also uh, laser cutting and engraving, um, and just happening to do that right now because we can't find anybody else better right now. Um, why do we do it? We absolutely love to solve problems. I mean, that's really a lot of product companies kind of around that. Love to innovate, love to use new technologies. Um, and in that, we're able to, you know, sell these products and fuel our ride and get to explore on our bikes, travel, all sorts of stuff. So it's kind of fun to be able to do that. We also like to give back. Uh, it's really important that uh, we donate to programs like the TPA, our time and money uh, to programs like that. It's Trail Preservation Alliance. They happen to be in Colorado Springs, um, but they help keep uh, the, the trails open for the motorized community and places like the National Forest, things like that. So we are locally minded. One of the missions that we have is try to source all our vendors as close as we can to our location here in Colorado Springs. So that first group on there are vendors that we use that are in Colorado Springs. Next one is in Colorado and then in US. I try to keep everything local as possible, like I said. Um, if it's a product that I have an idea for and I have to source it overseas, I don't want to do it. Oh, quick plug, they presented here not too long ago, MFG, we're happily located in the MFG location. Hopefully have some new small you know, light manufacturing startup neighbors in the future here. So a lot of our products vary from, uh, we're best known for the LED kits, so put a really neat uh, and bright LED on your dirt bike um, for racing or riding use. Uh, we have storage solutions, bolt-on kits for uh, racing, uh, adventure riding, uh, mounts, we're getting into a lot of mounts too. Challenges, that's something new here that I wanted to bring a little bit of issues to see and maybe this what we could dig further in the Q&A. Um, managing growth, that's a normal good problems to have. Uh, we've expanded, our revenue is doubling each year. Um, space, employees, insurance, IP, my big issue that I do not like to delve into, but it happens when we get into growing pains and people start copying your products. Um, slow my roll, so my team members kind of try their best to slow me down. I always have new ideas. So we've, we've had product ideas in the morning. We launch them that afternoon and we're selling them that night. Uh, being able to prototype and produce in the same building in our same location kind of allows us to move really fast, but sometimes I get ahead of myself. This is a big one, caught in the margins as I call it. Our most popular product is our is the least amount of profit margin that we have in it. So we're trying to slowly steer that bolt. Lesson learned, like it really started going and gaining popularity and yeah, I'll sell it, I'll sell it to dealers, sell it around the world and all of a sudden start looking at the totals and start when the order's creeping up. Uh, it, we had a huge Black Friday sale and that still was the majority of our sales. It's kind of like, let's be really, really careful, not discount this, get these out in time, don't be giving away shipping if it's late, things like that. So it's kind of growing challenges that I've had lately. Um, and we're kind of steering the boat to solve that. And tomorrow to solve some of these issues, uh, continue to over innovate. Um, the dirt bikes that we design around, mostly European made, they change designs every two years. We have to be fast, we have to keep up with that. Um, and focus on the higher profit products. You know, this, uh, instead of just throwing out a ton of products is kind of how we were moving the first couple of years. Really need to slow that down and uh, focus on those higher profit. And pivot those LED kits. So those low profit things, we're working right now with the LED manufacturer to buy our brackets. That's where all our margin is. So let's, and our biggest inventory is the LEDs. We, at one time, we usually have 20,000 dollars worth of LEDs in house and that's only uh, two weeks. We're really 
swing you know purchases they're all out the door purchases and that's been a challenge to just kind of keep that level and if we were to manage it to where we're selling the brackets and they're selling the kits that's going to kind of steer our ship for better profitability expanding our dealer network um, we had a great uk dealer um, good old brexit kind of killed that because <laughs> we were you know they were importing our products it was great to be able to they were kind of our hub to go out further into europe um, we're looking uh, we're talking with a couple dealers in uh, spain and italy to kind of be our new distribution we're also talking in australia um, we're selling stuff in australia right now people are paying more in shipping than they are for the product and new verticals we have a lot of potential for that so I want to thank you for the time. Ready for Q&A.